Pulled from a box and unfolded like a plastic kid's pool, the thermosuit may not look like one of the most advanced technologies in cardiac care, but it is. It's rare that you really get to save a life and really make a difference, and this technology is really doing that. Dr. Paul McMullen is studying use of the thermosuit on heart attack patients, using it to cool them down quickly before doing angioplasty to open their arteries. There have been some studies that have attempted to cool patients down before reopening the artery and heart attack, and they've been unsuccessful because um, they couldn't cool the patient rapidly enough. That's where the thermosuit comes in. So just like your convective oven, heats quicker because of convective warming. Ice water over the body cools quicker, six times faster. Dr. Robert Friedman of Alexandria, Louisiana is one of the inventors of the thermosuit. He believed by putting a patient on ice, you could freeze further damage from being done to the brain and heart. What it means is, is that you take these terrible conditions where the heart and brain particularly are being damaged by lack of oxygen and you stop them right there. Turn it on and tubing fills the suit with air, taking shape around a patient's body. Then icy water starts to circulate. Co-inventor Dr. Robert Schock knows it is the movement of the water that more rapidly wicks warmth away from the body. So a lot of our work was on some of the, the structure here. We have a porous layer that faces the skin and the water flows through that porous layer to extract heat from the patient. And you have built-in flow channels underneath that make sure it gets in there. To get a self-contained design that could do that with only four and a half gallons of water is what Bill Oley spent years of research perfecting. It was made out of a different material. It was black. You couldn't see through it. And it leaked like a sieve all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't do that now. Right now, the thermosuit is only available at 10 U.S. hospitals, Ochsner Medical Center being one. I don't think there's any question that 10 years down the line, hypothermic therapy for cardiac arrest is going to be the standard of care so that anybody at any hospital who comes in with a cardiac arrest will be cooled. Um, I hope that in 10 years we'll see that, uh, that heart attacks are being treated this way too. It's why Dr. McMullen is so excited to be on the icy edge of cardiac care.